Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel or welcome here if you're new. My name is Nika for any new faces out there and for today what I had planned was just to take you guys around with me on a little day in my life. So I'm gonna go to the gym, I have some MCAT studying to do and then just other little random uh, errands and stuff that I have to run. So I thought that that would be fun for you guys to follow me around and see. So I just woke up and got dressed and got ready and stuff. So I'm gonna go to the gym pretty soon. And I figured I'd show you guys actually my outfit. So for the gym, I have this little Gymshark t-shirt and I knotted it up because it's kind of long. And then I have my favorite Lululemon Align leggings. These are the black ones and these are the 28 inch ones. And they're a little long on me so I actually folded them up here. You probably can't see though because it's black. Um, so I folded them up because I'm kind of short so I probably should have gotten the 25 inch ones but oh well maybe next time I was a little impatient and it was kind of an impulse purchase anyways so um, no but I love them because they're super buttery soft and then they're really 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 high waisted which is everything that I love in life so yeah. Um, I'm about to go downstairs and mix my pre-workout and then head off to the gym and I wanted to show you guys this watch band too. So this is from the brand Casetify and I am obsessed with this. I've had the same like rubber one from Apple for such a long time and I really like the leather on this and then the pattern is amazing. So yeah, we're about to go to the gym. Um, I'm going to throw on some Converse because I'm doing legs today. And it's always best to have like a flat surface when you're doing legs. So I'm going to put those on. But those are all downstairs. So that's why I don't have them on right now. But yeah, so I'm going to go to the gym, come home, eat breakfast, study, and then we'll see where we go from there. Honestly, I didn't stay there for that long today. By that, I mean I only stayed there for an hour and I didn't do my cardio. Also, I'm really sorry for this lighting right now. Um, it is extremely sunny outside, so I apologize in advance, but maybe I'll just chill back here for the whole uh, clip. <laughs> but anyways, so I only, I did legs today. I honestly wasn't there for that long. I was gonna do cardio, but I figured that I could just do that a little bit later in the afternoon, maybe take the dog for a walk or something. Um, it's kind of windy though, so we'll we'll see if that actually happens. But I didn't really feel like staying there and doing cardio. Um, most of the time I don't mind it. Some days I just really don't feel like being there, so I'm not gonna force myself. Uh, one of my big New Year's resolutions, honestly, was just to get to the gym like consistently. And by that I mean like four to five days a week of working out at least and not skipping out on that because I feel like I don't have time. Because, like, the reality is that everybody's busy. Everybody has deadlines, things to do. But I don't think an hour a day of working out is really going to make that much of a difference in the grand scheme of things. Um, especially when you look back and you think, like, oh, I had an hour of, like, watching TV. I probably could have gone to the gym instead. But that's just my opinion. So um, I'm going to go home right now. I'm going to... I do intermittent fasting, so I'm really not going to eat lunch until probably like 12-ish or um, kind of just whenever I get hungry. But I am going to go make some coffee right now and I'm going to get started on my to-do list and I'll show you guys like my whole process of like writing that out, like planning and all that fun stuff. And I'm pretty sure I forgot to mention this earlier. Um, everything that I mention in the videos will always be linked down in the description box, just so you guys know where I get everything so there's no questions about that um yeah so I'm gonna go home now I'm gonna go make coffee and we're gonna get to work 
time to go downstairs and make coffee. I just got home from the gym, showered and changed and everything. Um, I'm sorry, my hair looks a little crazy. The um, like under half of it's still wet because I only blew dry the top part. Um, I wanted to show you guys my like cozy outfit today. So this is what I usually prefer to study in, like something nice and cozy. So I have this American Eagle pullover and it's really fuzzy. It's a little bit cropped. There's like a drawstring here. Um, I love it. It's really, really comfy and I got it during their 70% off sale. So I think it was like pretty inexpensive. And then I'm wearing just little lemon leggings. Again, these are the Align pants. Um, I am not kidding when I tell you that I live in this style of pants, like these specific ones, because they are just so darn soft and flattering and just super stretchy. And it's just everything that I like in a pair of leggings. So that is what we're about to do. I'm going to go back downstairs and make my coffee. I'll show you guys how I make it. And then we got to get rolling. my macros for this coffee. I know that this coffee probably seemed a little bit weird with some of the ingredients I was putting in it. Um, this is actually a bulletproof cold brew. Um, I do the keto diet, that's why I drink like high fat uh, beverages such as this one. But bulletproof coffee is really good for like mental focusing and that it improves your energy and basically gives you caffeine without like the sugar crash later on. So. I put in super coffee creamer, which is like completely keto. It's mostly just MCT oil, um, a little bit of protein, but I really like it for the flavor. I put more MCT oil in to get like a little bit higher fat content. And then I put L-theanine in. L-theanine is actually, um, it comes in a powder form usually, but it's really, really awesome for helping you focus uh, when you take it with caffeine. But it's also good like later in the day for like calming you down and um, kind of getting you ready for bed. So it's kind of weird that it has two different effects that are like kind of opposite. But <laughs> I always like taking it in my coffee because I actually find that my mind is like so much clearer and that I can focus on my schoolwork and everything so much better when I take it um, in the morning. So that's what I do. So now that I have my coffee, we're gonna head on over to my office space and we're gonna start prepping on all the schoolwork to do today. <sighs> Literally tastes like Starbucks, so can't be mad. Okay, it's time to get to work now. Um, I'm in my office space and I'm wearing these blue light glasses. They're from the brand Way. I absolutely love them and I started wearing blue light glasses a lot when I'm on my computer mostly because I do find that it helps uh, reduce eye strain a lot. I don't know if that's just me just imagining it, but I honestly think that it works. So the first step to kind of like planning out my day and getting started is to fill out my planner. And I did a really bad job at doing this, but I usually do this the night before. It's just yesterday I didn't happen to do that. Um, I usually like to wake up and have like a plan already written out of how I'm gonna spend the day, but because I'm still on winter break, I kind of didn't do that. So I will in future vlogs, but not today. So I use the day designer. This is the original one. And I actually got this at Staples. I know that there's a lot of different patterns that you can order on their website and on Amazon. And I'll link a couple down below for you guys. But I love this planner because I'm really like obsessive with my days. And I feel like I have to have it plan like hour by hour. Um, just because that helps me a little bit. Oh, so I have my days like kind of planned out with Google Calendar. Um, this is really rough. It's not like a definite um, plan or anything, 
but you'll see when I have school, I plan out like my lectures and everything and I find that that helps me a lot better. As you can see, I just wrote out like a quick to-do list and then I like briefly sketched out a schedule for today. There, this probably isn't gonna be what I absolutely stick to, but I thought that that would be easier. And this is what I'm going off of. So I have this day already highlighted. So this is what I'm, this is my primary assignment for today. I didn't write down on my to-do list this or this, like these two because I think that it's pretty like counterproductive to make a huge to-do list and then not accomplish it all. So I'd rather write down like the main focus and then get to that. And then if I get to these later on, then I'll be happy. But I don't wanna give myself too much and then feel like overwhelmed if I don't get it finished. So that's that. Oh, I'm just, you know, chilling on my floor, taking a little bit of a study break. And I wanted to show you guys some cool stuff that I picked up at GNC. Uh, I had some stuff that I had to restock and then I got some new products that I'm super excited to try. So let me just show you real quick what I got. So the first thing is I got this big pack of the Alani New Energy Cans. And these are the flavor Tropsicle. I tried this flavor and i absolutely loved it it's so delicious and these are really great because they're only 10 calories and there's really like no sugar or anything added in here and i love taking one of these with me when i have a busy day so i just stocked up on a whole case since i knew i liked the flavor um going along with the alani new products i got this whey protein in the confetti cake flavor and I wanted to start making more recipes like with protein powder and I thought that this would be really great and it is delicious and I've had I've heard really great reviews about it and here's a product that I actually restocked so I've been using this for a while now it's the sleep and it's lemon flavored it's really like fizzy when you put it in water but Basically, it's just magnesium, potassium, GABA, and melatonin, and this does a really great job of, like, knocking you out and then making sure that you sleep, like, a really, really restful um, night's sleep. So I really like having this stuff around, and I needed to restock it because I was almost out. And then I decided to give these a try. I was finally suckered in. I've never tried Smart Sweets before. And I mean, I always pay attention to the ingredients since I'm doing like the ketogenic diet. I have to be careful that there's no like, that there's no sugars in here or sugar alcohols that would actually like affect your blood sugar. Um, and this isn't like the best snack if you're doing keto because um, it does have three grams of sugar, which is three grams of carbs. But other than that, it's pretty good. And I thought that these would be cool to have. And I also got the Swedish Fish flavor. And then finally, I got two of these Fat Snacks cookies. I love these. I think they just repackage them. But these are just chocolate chip cookies. And I love having snacks like this around. So I can take to school and everything. And yeah, it's always fun to have like a nice little snack uh, during the day on you. Or if you're craving something sweet, this is a perfect alternative. Just made this beautiful lunch. So I have two burgers, bacon, onions. There's some mayo under there, cheese, tomatoes, and then the Primal Kitchen's honey mustard. Actually, I'll go show you what it looks like. But I use this stuff all the time because i am a huge fan of honey mustard and this stuff is awesome and then we use the same brand avocado oil and that's the mayo that we use it 
it's a little bit later in the afternoon and I just got this super awesome package and I figured that I would unbox it for you guys live on camera. So let me set this up real quick. This is from Medusiest, and I'm obsessed with it. This is so cool. I am so happy that I got it. I have just been like on my computer upstairs in my room. Um, I've mostly been going through like my Google Calendar to be honest, and like planning stuff out for uh, specifically the MCAT, like making sure that I have my to do is listed for every single day um, instead of planning out like what time of each day because I don't know like my whole schedule yet for school since I haven't gotten any syllabi yet and classes start on Tuesday. But they actually don't release online until Tuesday. Like there's an estimate of what everything's gonna be but I hate writing stuff down in my planner and then finding out that that actually wasn't the correct schedule. Like nothing bothers me more than a planner that I have to like white stuff out of. So I'm gonna wait until I get like the official schedules for everything. Um, so until then I just put in like the to-dos on my Google Calendar. And that's pretty much what I've been up to. Um, I watched some YouTube, chilled out a little bit, and I'm gonna get studying again because I do still have to finish my to-do list for today. Uh, thankfully it's not that bad. Uh, I'm really trying to enjoy like the last couple days that I have at home on break while it's not as hectic. Back to sitting on my floor. Um, this time I'm just going through Poshmark and I have a huge pile of stuff that I need to sell. And then I brought my planner up so I can actually write out my goals for tomorrow. What's up? Um, yeah, so that is what's going to be going on for the rest of the night it's almost 7 30 probably feels a lot later than that and i'm probably going to do this for like another hour and then get ready for bed and call it a day <laughs> studying for a little bit more than I planned on doing so I just got another chapter out of the way just so that tomorrow wouldn't be nearly as bad and I don't know how many people do this but like it's literally nine o'clock and I'm about to get ready to go to bed but I have this book it's about like finances and um just being more financially stable so I'm gonna start reading this I always love like a good self-help book for some reason <laughs> Um, I like gravitate towards that kind of book. So I'm excited to start reading that. I'm gonna go get ready for bed, read that, and then go to sleep. So I'm gonna end the vlog here and I will check in with you guys next time. Again, uh, be sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel and I will see you guys next time.